the high stakes race for dominance in the skies, China is making bold moves to challenge the global duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. With its homegrown passenger jet, the COMAX C919, the nation is setting its sights on reshaping the aircraft market. The COMAX C919 is a narrow-body airliner. It can carry up to 190 passengers with a range of 5,500 kilometers. The aircraft, which made its commercial debut in 2023, is already flying domestic routes with China's aviation giants – Air China, China Eastern Airlines and China Southern Airlines. In a significant milestone, the C919 completed its first international flight on December 31, 2024, making a scheduled journey to Hong Kong. According to the Financial Times report, COMAX ambitions doesn't stop there. Deputy GM of Marketing Yang Yang claimed that the company aims to expand operations to Southeast Asia by 2026 and is working towards European certification as early as this year. The stakes are enormous. Over the next two decades, the world will require more than 42,000 new aircraft with single-aisle planes like the C919 comprising 80% of its demand. By 2040, COMAC aims to deliver nearly 2,000 units of the C919, potentially ramping up the production from just one plane a month today to 11 per month. Global supply chain disruptions have left Boeing and Airbus grappling with engine and component shortages, providing a window of opportunity for newcomers like COMAC. Boeing 737 MAX have been delayed because of safety concerns and ongoing protests. Yet, industry experts caution that penetrating the international markets will take some time. Breaking into global markets is not easy feat. Certification hurdles, maintenance support and reliance on Western-made components remain significant challenges. Despite these, the C919 symbolizes President Xi Jinping's vision to propel China up the technological value chain and reduce reliance on foreign imports. Building the necessary support infrastructure for maintenance and certification in overseas markets is costly and complex and geopolitical tensions, particularly between the US and China, further complicate COMAC's ambitions. The C919's reliance on Western suppliers, including engines from CFM International and auxiliary systems from Honeywell, underscores a dependency that could hinder production if geopolitical tensions escalate. Meanwhile, COMAC is developing its first wide-body aircraft, the C929, aimed at competing with Boeing's 787 Dreamliner and Airbus's A350. But with a projected entry into service no earlier than 2040, this is a long-term play for China's aviation ambitions. For now, COMAC's primary role is import substitution, serving China's domestic airlines and reducing dependence on foreign manufacturers. But the path to becoming true global competitor is fraught with challenges. For more news and updates, keep watching Live Mint.